Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi. How was your weekend? Very hot, teacher. Yes. It's hot right now, too. <laughs> yes. I, I live in, in Metapan. Mm -hmm. It's very hot. Really? You, you live in Metapan? Yes. Well, I thought Metapan was a little cool. No. I, th I thought Metapan was a little bit, um, was like cooler. In, in this month, March, in April, very hot. Oh, okay. Oh my God, that's bad. How was, did anybody do anything special over the weekend? No, teacher. My no. case is quite normal. Really? Oh man. Okay. Okay, Sara, you live in Metapan. Anna, you live in Soyapango, correct? No. La Rabida from Salvador. La Rabida. Oh, okay, yes. That's that's near um Diario de Hoy, no? Yes. Hey, I remember. Does El Bosque still exist? Sorry. Does El Bosque still exist? I don't know, DJ. <laughs> I I didn't uh hear about. Yeah, I remember there was, it, it was like a cocktail place. They sell beer and cocktails, but the cocktails were very good. I I, I didn't, so I didn't see that. Oh, okay. uh, and also I didn't hear about the bosque. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe it's possible, but some um, hotel and restaurant the new owner changed the name, maybe. Well, maybe, right? So um, how was your weekend? Uh, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, you told me that it was a normal one. Neftali, hey, Jose Ramirez, where do you live? Yeah, Mr. I, do you think I live in Lourdes, Colombia. Lourdes, hello, Neftali, where do you live? I live in Mexicanos, San Salvador. Mexicanos? What about you, Evaristo? Oh, San Miguel, right? I live in San Miguel. Okay. Talk to Sara about, about hot. Yes, yes. Hello? It's, it's, it's very hot. Right now, it's... Very... Bien, y vos que todo? Oh. Okay. Uh, what about you, Jose Mariano? Where do you live? Good evening, teacher. I'm from Santa Tecla. All right, and you, Moises? Hello, teacher. Hello, classmate. Hello. I live in uh, San Salvador, near from the uh, Estadio Bucatlan. Okay, Sara, is that correct? Near from? <laughs> no, <laughs> near Estadio no. Bucatlan. Exactly, near Estadio Bucatlan. Okay, all right, good. The reason why I'm asking you is because um, I don't know if you have ever eaten in Palios Chinos. Uh, no. Do you like Chinese food? Not, not for so, me. So. <laughs> oh, really? You don't like yes. it, yes. <laughs> Oh, yes. man. I try Thai food. Oh, Thai food is good. Oh, also, I, thought, I, can, I thought I can use it. Palios Chinos. No, the thing is that it's very cheap and the food is very good. They serve you rice, chow mein, chicken, meat, and shrimp in one plate for five dollars. That's cheaper. Sounds good. Where? Two people eat with where is where? it? <laughs> it's do you know the Genesis by La Chulona? Yes. Hi. <laughs> yes, it's behind Hennessy's. What is the nice place? 
Palillos chinos. Palillos chinos. Ah, ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the name. It's very good. I recommend it. Send the address. I don't know the address. It's, it's, it's behind it. Okay. <laughs> Palillos chinos. You know that, okay, the, um, the um, Hennessy is in the corner, correct? Yeah. Yes. It's right behind the next block behind Hennessy's. If you travel for the, the Constitution Boulevard, but if you take the San Antonio Street, is uh, before to Hennessy's. Before Hennessy's, yes, you're right. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we are week three today, right? Yes. 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 You remember last class we were studying about uh, modals, correct? Yes, teacher. All right. Do you remember what we studied? Most and have two. Ah. Okay, good. What is the difference? The difference is the most is more um, legal. <laughs> yes. But the the both some uh, models yeah, the, and yeah, the two are the same. The two the are obligations. Right? Yes. But sometimes if sometimes the difference is not important, but sometimes the difference is important. And in this case, um, in this case, it's important when it's a legal obligation. Remember what I told you, uh, remember Baristo in the United States in the bar, they say you must be 21. No, it's, you have to be. Yes. Remember? Yes, yes. That's the difference. Over 21, right? Over yes. 21. Yeah, you must be over 21. Thank you. Yes. You must be over 21. I see nobody. You have to be. Yeah. So the, the only difference is that must is a legal tone and authority. Well, autoridad, right? Okay. Legal, legal and authority. Authority. Like you must pay taxes. That's legal. Legal. <laughs> no, but authority is like, what is authority? Your mother, your father, your doctor, the police, the yeah. teacher. You know, the doctor tells you, you must stop smoking. <laughs> uh, it's going to die. <laughs> yeah. Lo hace con tono de autoridad. That's imperative. Yes. La autoridad, right? Los novios, los esposos. <laughs> what happened, Sara and Ana? Where's that woman power? Can me diga, you're crazy. <laughs> but is I respect your opinion, but the real conditional is different when you start to. The legal is more strict or more polite than women with the men. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's true. No, I remember. So anything that is authority. Yeah. Bueno, si viven solos, si alguien los visita, ustedes son autoridad. Hey, if you come to my house, you must bring your food. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Well, I mean, it is, it's an authority. <laughs> okay, let's let's see the video here. Let me see. Let me share the screen with you. Is Naftali back? Okay.
degrees. I want to study past models hear? for degrees of certainty. Yes, I hear. Okay, yeah. and find sure. out yes. what this is about. Past models for degrees of certainty. It's almost certain. She must have left already. She must not have turned on her cell phone. It's not possible. She couldn't have been at home. It's possible. She may have forgotten the time. She might have forgotten the time. She may not have remembered the time. She might not have remembered the time. Her car could have broken down. Past models for certainty. We may use must or couldn't have. We use must or must not have when we are almost certain. We may also use couldn't have if it's not possible. Past models of possibility. We may use may, might, or could have. So remember, we may use may, might, and could when something is possible, but we don't know for sure. When you want to use may, might, or could have, this is what you should follow. Subject plus may or might or could plus have plus past participle. She may have gotten lost. I will present two situations. We want you to come up with the best explanation. Number one, your best friend is in a terrible mood today. Number two, your brother or sister is short of money again. Okay, so let's, let me see, let's go back here. We use must or must not have when we are almost certain. We may also use couldn't have if it's not possible. Past models of possibility. Certain. Okay, so let's do something. We may also so we are use Let me see. Let me go back. Couldn't have certain. We may all. Okay, must, must have, must have. Oh, I'm sorry. My my phone is crazy. The the tactile doesn't work anymore. So sometimes I'm talking, and the the Google voice perfecto lo estoy buscando. I'm not even. <laughs> do you remember do you remember pretty woman the movie yes yes yes, yes, yes do you remember the song it must have been love yeah, roxette but it's over now i'm sorry i think terrible. <laughs> but listen that's a good example it must have been love but it's over now. So we use must have and the verb in past participle. That means we are almost certain, certain, but we're not 100% sure. We are 99% sure. Yes, so what do you understand by that? It must have been love. That uh, he or she is, uh, is uh, falling low hard. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Because obviously the relation didn't continue, but she's saying it must have been love. Something, but it, but it, it didn't it didn't happen. Let me give you another example. Uh, let me give you a, a hypothetical example. Okay. You must have paid the bills. No, because, okay, but remember, must have, and we need a verb and past participle. Okay, look, okay. this is, um, are you allergic to any food? No. 
You're not? No. Not in my case. Okay. Anybody else? This is great when only one person speaking and nobody speaking. I don't know if you hear me or you don't want to participate. I don't understand the question, teacher. Okay, thank you. Are you allergic to any food? No, teacher. Oh, okay. No. In my case, no, teacher. Okay, thank you. No. I am, I am not allergic, but I am lactose intolerant. Teacher, I don't can eat. Um, how do you say carne de res? Oh, please hold on. Excuse me one second, please. Or Corona de Res, it is beef. Hola. Hola. Yes, this is I'm sorry, class. Thank you. For the teacher. Hello. All right. Teacher. Hello. 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 I was changing because I can't. I can't hear my headset, I think it's bad. Okay. So I was telling you, I am lactose intolerant. And uh, sometimes when I eat a food, when I eat food, like I like for example, when I drink atoll, and 20 minutes later, I am my stomach, I'm like, oh no. I must have eaten milk. I can eat beef. Yes, you tell, you can't eat beef. Oh my! I God. am allergic. You, oh man! So no hamburgers. Only, only can eat a uh, fish and chicken. Only that. Only fish and chicken. Oh, okay. No hamburgers for you. No. Oh, okay. I don't like it. Oh, that's good. But okay, but imagine one day you get sick if you eat uh, beef. Sarah? See? Si? Or you're allergic to beef? I am allergic. Okay. What do you get? 
my uh, my eyes put uh, very ugly. Okay, good. So and top my my um, neck. My throat. My throat. So in this case, imagine in this moment your eyes are red and your throat, and you say, "Oh my God, I feel bad." And I say, maybe you must have eaten beef by accident. Um, I yeah. run in for hospital. Okay, good. Yes, but do you understand my expression? You must have eaten. You must have eaten. I'm sorry, beef by accident. Do you understand? Yes. So yes. what we're practicing here is you must have. You must have and the verb in past participle. Si todos estamos en la sala ahorita y huele a pupú, ¿qué creen que ha pasado? Somebody? Alguien se cagó. No más gente me hubiera dicho. Alguien se tuvo que ver parado en pupú. Thank you, Sara. How I just... <laughs> The other. Because you have intolerance uh, lactose is, is probably. Oh yes, yes. No, but you know, you know. Sometimes you're like, "What's that smell?" And you say, "Somebody must have stepped on poop." Me entienden? ¿Qué dije ahí? Somebody must have stepped. Alguien ha pateado. Alguien se tuvo que haber parado. Se tuvo que haber. Eso es must have. Okay, do you understand? Somebody, yes, they say. somebody yes, must have. Somebody yes. Must. Ahora, ¿qué creen que significa? It must have been love. Se tuvo que haber enamorado. No. Debe ser amor. Tuvo que haber sido. Tuvo que haber sido. Remember, everything is in pasado participio. Tuvo que haber sido amor. Alguien se tuvo que haber parado. En, en, en el pupú. Por eso huele así. Because the conclusion is in present. Es una conclusión, right? De la que estamos... Casi 100% seguros que por eso fue. Yes? Yes. You said that most have been love. Yes. Most, most have been. B E E M. Yes. It's oh. the song from Roxette. It must have been love, but it's over now. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Uh, before must have, the verb is participle. After must have. After. Yes. For example, imagine you go to your house and you see the fruit. Con pequeñas mordiditas así de dientitos. It must have been a mouse. <laughs> A rat, yes. It must have been a rat. Yes. Esto también existe en español, class. Y tuvo que haber sido eso. Or a gecko. Mm -hmm. uh, or a gecko. Eh, si alguien le dio los síntomas de, de, de COVID... Hey, tuvo que haber sido la vez que fuiste y no te pusiste, ¿te acordás? Cuando no usa, tuvo que haber sido, es, you, it must have been. Like in your case that you say that it must have been in the supermarket. Yes, yeah, for example, I have COVID. I am not exactly positive where it happened, but I think it must have been in the supermarket in the supermarket because um, because I, I, 
I I don't go out, so I don't know where else. Okay. 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 So next we have also use might or could have. This is what you should follow. Subject plus might or could have. Now it's a possibility. La diferencia de la posibilidad a la certeza es que must have estaba más seguro que sí. Yes. Aquí es. It's like a 50. 50%. Yeah, possibility. La palabra dice, hey, it's a possibility. So, when it's a possibility, you say may, might, or could have. Yesterday, I was sleeping and I heard noise in the roof of my house. What do you think happened? It may have the cats. <laughs> it may have been. It may have been the cats. It may have been the cat. It could have been the cat. Yes? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Hmm. You know, uh, yesterday I was in the bathroom. Jose. Jose, are you there? Which, which Jose? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ramirez. <laughs> okay. Wait, I have another Jose here. Mariano. Mariano. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm here too. Okay, here. Uh, Jose Ramirez, yesterday I was taking a shower and somebody knocked on my door continuously. And I said, wow. So I get off the shower, I open the door and nobody. What do you think? I think it could have been a, a, the pan, the bread. Okay, very good, yes. <laughs> it could have been the, the bread man, the agua cristal man. <laughs> yeah, very good. Good, I see it so easy. It could have been because it's a possibility. Yes? Moises. Okay. No. Uh, today I walk into my garage and it's painted with crayons. What do you think, Moises? It, uh, it could have been your little son. Good. Aunque en esta sería, it must have been. <laughs> it must, okay. No, no, but it's okay. Yeah, it could have been your son. Okay. Very okay. good. Teacher, I have a question. Always sure. we are going to use it. What is the pronoun? It or we can use he, she, uh, it, uh, they. Very good, very good. Uh, we, we will do that in this moment. <clears throat> um, listen to this example. Um, Anna. Okay. Saturday night, I was in a bar. Example, okay. And the man next to me was drinking and crying and singing, but crying like, and he was singing um, Jose Jose music all night <laughs> and crying. I'm not sure, but they couldn't have been uh, crazy. Okay, he could have. Ahí va, Moises. He could have been crazy. 
Okay. Good. He could have been crazy. He could have been heartbroken. What are some Yeah. Yeah, that's another possible. It's a possibility, remember. Or he could have been drunk. Or oh. Teacher. Yes. We use the couldn't or could is for that. It's not exactly sure that it's happening. It's maybe a possibility. It's a Only possibility. when you use that. Uh, it's the same thing. Look, it could have been, it's a possibility. Okay. And it couldn't have been, it's a possibility that it was not that. Okay. Okay, because let me see, I'm sorry. Imagine <clears throat> I was in the bar with my friends and my girlfriend called me and she told me, hey, my friends saw you in the beach Saturday night. I said, what, I was in the beach. Yes, yeah, my friends, they call me. It couldn't have been me because I was in, I was in La Taverna Saturday night. Do you understand the, the example? Yes. Anna? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Yes, so I say, uh, it couldn't have been me because I was in, in La Taverna. Saturday night. Oh, no, no. It couldn't have been me because I was in church Saturday night. I was not at the beach. Teacher, was... what is the... Okay. Teacher, what is the difference of we can use the may, might, or could, could, have, could have uh with the same meaning? When yes, it's the same something meaning. Something is possible. It's when something, something is possible. Or something is possible or something is not. But but it's uh it's up to this uh we can use the uh, may or my yes or it's no problem it, oh, okay. it's no problem aunque el más popular es could have good okay thank you all right so my my girlfriend calls me she says my friend saw you at the beach and I said what couldn't have been me. I was in church all day. I'm sorry, baby. No, no, no. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Go with your friends. Oh. And I was at the beach. Oh, mm -hmm. All right. No example. Um. Uh, okay, here's a here's another example. Jose Mariano, are you there? Yes, yes, teacher. You know, I feel bad. Why? Because I feel sick. I can't smell. Smell? I can't, and I can't feel the flavor. Let me see. Maybe you could have COVID symptoms. Okay, very good. Good example. Maybe you could have COVID. No, maybe you could have COVID. Teacher, in this case, can we use another verb to say maybe uh, you could have been infected? Exactly, yes. Maybe you could have been infected. Okay. All right. And that's, that's how you use it, okay? It could have, it might have. Remember the example I told you? Um, 
yesterday we had a very big party and late and everybody was having fun, but Jose Ramirez did not stop drinking. It was five in the morning and he was still drinking. I woke up today at six in the morning to go to work and I look at Jose Ramirez Facebook and he was in the beach at five in the morning. Jose, ya estamos en la oficina, right? Y el jefe, hey, y Jose, where's Jose Ramirez? <clears throat> he could be, he might be sick. Hmm. He might be sleeping. Okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yes. can you tell us uh, an example with might? The same thing. Uh, same. It because could have been uh, love, it might have been love. It might have been love. Uh, because yes. the meaning is, is so similar. Yes, that's, that's what it says here. May, might, and could have. Cool. When it's we, it's the same when we speak about a possibility. Okay. Because I teacher, but you said this. sorry. No, don't worry. It's not so usual to to use might. To me, for example, I always use could or or may. Yes, but... like I said, some people use might. I mean, that's what it's saying. The, the three are okay. The, the three are normal. You can use the three. Okay. Teacher, Thank but you, you teacher. said, sorry. Um, teacher, you said that he may, he might be sick, but you, you don't use, or you, uh, I don't know the, the correct uh, structure or the sentence. Uh, okay. My, might be or might have been. Okay, let's stop right now. Forget have. Usemos may, might, and could. In present time, in present time, he may be sick, he might be sick, he could be sick. Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Where is Gabby? She might be working. She could be working or she may be working. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Good. Now let's go past. Ayer. ¿Por qué estaba llorando Gaby ayer? She might have. She might have remembered her ex boyfriend. Porque usted might, she might have. have been. She might have been in her. a fight with her family. Yes. When do we use might yes. have, could have, or may have when it's something in the past? So, yes. It's like past perfect? Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So present is may have, could have, uh, what do you think Bukele is doing in this moment? I don't know, he may, he, he may be sleeping, he could be working, he might be tweeting. <laughs> on Twitter. He might be on Twitter, present time, yes. Moises, what is your girlfriend doing in this moment? Uh, she is a... Uh... Thinking of me. <laughs> what is the word for cenando? Dinner. She's eating dinner. She's eating dinner. Are you positive? Yes, I think. Okay, good. I think. I think it's not positive. So it's a possibility. So then you say, she may be eating dinner. She, may. she might be eating dinner. She might be eating dinner. She could be eating dinner. Mm -hmm. 
yes, financial yes. teacher. I, I got it because we are talking about present, possibility in the present. Yes. 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 Yeah, it was uh, a good explanation. Okay, thank <laughs> you. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you have to use realistic explanations. Yo pensé que Moisés iba a decir, mi novia ahorita va a estar pensando en mí. It's a possibility. It's a, it's a possibility. Yeah, it's, it's a, a dream. No. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, it's a possibility. So, yes. uh, after B, the very is continue when is present when is passive model the verb is part participle have and past participle uh, have plus part okay yes what do you think uh, oh this is a good question here what do you think marisa funes is doing he might be watching television. Yes. <laughs> I think he it might is. be he might be drinking and thinking what to put on his on his, on his Twitter account. <laughs> on his Twitter account. He might be having fun with Lamichi. <laughs> yes, he might. He might be having fun with Michi and La Hora del Pueblo. <laughs> No, you know what? But honestly, honestly, I think in this moment, Mauricio Funes might be worried. Yes, yes. Because imagine his life or his situation depends only on Ortega, only. So imagine every night you go to sleep. No, I'm okay, I'm okay. No, I don't think he sleeps happy. So I think in this moment, maybe Funes might be psychologically crazy, <laughs> sick. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe he needs <laughs> pills to, to sleep. Oh, y muchos diputados in this moment, uh, <laughs> la Plaza Fantamas in this moment, they might be, oh my God. <laughs> it's a strong possibility. I think in El Salvador in the future, sure. we might have a lot of diputados with cancer. <laughs> yes, Ana. Uh, Funes, don't may, I sure crazy. Yeah, he is. He is, it's true. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, da, 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 da. let me see, let me see. Let's go to the next. So you understand the difference? May, uh, when it's may, might, and could? Yeah. It's a possibility. Yes, yes, yes. 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 If we, yes. If we have, yes. it's a past possibility. Past and the, and the very imparticipal, right? In the, yes, and the verb imparticipal, good. Great, thank you. All right, so let's do the exercise here. Let me see. So now let's check. Let's do number one. It says, Jane is in a terrible mood today. Do you know what is mood? Estado de ánimo. Yes, mood is estado. So sometimes you're in a good mood, in a bad mood. Sometimes you are in a chocolate mood. You know when you tell people, <laughs> yes, forget anything. Like, oh man, I don't know why, but I am in a mood for pupusas. I am in a mood for salpicón. And really, I am in I am in a mood for salpicón for a month. So I say, quiero salpicón. It's like when you use the mood of airplane for the cell phone. No, that's mood. Okay, yes, this is mood. True. This yes, is but, mood. Yeah, but is in Spanish the people use like uh, mood. The mood. Oh yeah. So, for example, 
Sometimes you have teachers, mother, father, your boss, that sometimes they're very happy. Like, hey, then you say, man, why is he in a good mood today? That's strange. Or, uh oh, not the lesser guest because I'm in a bad mood. So, here, number one, it says, Jane is in a terrible mood today. She, she could have she had have. a fight with her boyfriend. Very good. So she's in a terrible mood today. Maybe something happened yesterday. She could have had a fight with her boyfriend. Mire, soy el feo porque realmente puede ser argument. Argument is discussion, ¿verdad? Fight ya puede ser like physical. The expression is, is wrong. No, it's correct. But really, if you say, oh, I got into a fight with my wife. Una pelea. Bueno, también en español lo decimos mal. Es que yo me peleé con mi esposa. Pero analicen la palabra pelear. ¿Qué es? Like a boxing. It's physical. Mm. Yeah, it's physical. And so maybe... Wife, yeah. Uh, maybe the intention era ayer me discutí con mi esposo. So, well, ahí está como, como lo quieren decir ustedes. But in some cases, it's, it's true, it's a fight because they take a, a fight. Really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine I come to work like just What happened? Oh, I got into a fight with my wife. Yeah, it's true. Okay, number two, it says, Brian got a call and looked worried. Couldn't, he, he couldn't, couldn't have heard good news. He couldn't have heard good news. Very good. That's like, hello? Uh -huh. O me das 100 dólares o le mando a tu esposa las fotos de vos este sábado. And you're like, So you say, hey, man, the teacher got a call and he looks worried. Yeah, he could have, he couldn't have heard good news. All right, let's do number three now. The teacher looks very happy today. He may have he gotten, may have gotten, 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 gotten a raise. Good. <laughs> I wish. The first one. The first one. Thank you. Oh, cuando todos andan de buen humor es porque apagaron, right? Today. <laughs> oh, yeah, today. Maura couldn't keep her eyes open. She must she not, must not, have, not, have, must not have the boring enough sleep. sleep. Good. Jeff was fired from his job. He might not. He might not have done his work on time. My cousin is short of money again. Let it he repeat. must have spent too much last month. Good. Do you understand that expression, short of money? Yes. Yes, it should be with half of money. All right. Good, we got them all correct. Okay, now by the end of this session, participants will learn the use of past models for giving opinions and advice on real and hypothetical past events. Okay, let's listen to the video. Hi, welcome. We will now study past models for opinions and advice. Don't go as we are sure this is gonna be useful for you. Past models for opinions and advice. Giving opinions. You should have called her on the phone. She shouldn't have kept your notes this long. 
giving advice. You could have been more understanding. I would have borrowed someone else's notes. I wouldn't have lent them to her. Giving opinions. When giving opinions, we may use should have or shouldn't have. I will give you two sentences. You should have called her. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. In the example, you should have called her. Molly is giving an opinion. She thinks Michi was wrong to send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi is giving an opinion. She thinks Molly was wrong to keep the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should, not plus have plus participle. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. I will explain the meaning of would have like this. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type in an opinion as well as an advice. Molly is giving an opinion. She thinks Michi was wrong to send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi. Okay, let's stay with should. Let's let's do one thing. Let's do let's practice should in present, and then we'll practice in past. Okay. 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 So should is to give an advice. Yes. Uh, Neftali, are you there? Yes, Mister. All right. Hello, Neftali. Eft no. Neftali, I have a stomach ache. I, you I, should. I, you should have to drink uh, intestinomycina. Okay. You should take intestinomycina. Good. Yes. Yeah. Present time. You know. You should take intestinomycina. Correct? Yes. All right. All right. Very good. Um, Jose Mariano. Yes, sir. I, my friend is selling a, a, a Toyota Corolla. It's beautiful. It's 2015 and he wants $4,000. Wow. Maybe you should check before to to buy. Very good. Muy bueno para ser cierto. <laughs> Very good, yes. Maybe you should check before you buy. Very good. Uh, let me see. Moises. No, no. Uh, Moises, I feel... I feel very tired and, and I am sleepy all day. Uh, I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. You should be a stressor. Uh, I recommend to you uh, make some exercises. Eh, Moisés, pero al revés, me acabas, de, me, me acabas de, de, de recomendar que me estrese. No, eh, you should be stressed. Por eso, deberías de estar estresado. Oh, ok, ya sí, entendí lo que quieres. You should be. Ok. Debes estar. I, ok, pero ¿qué es lo que pensamos cuando, qué, qué usamos cuando usamos una posibilidad? How. No, lo que estamos haciendo anteriormente, remember? Sure. May, could. might, could. Could. May, might, could. Mm -hmm. So in this case, Moises, is you may be stressed or you could be stressed. You take a rest? You, you should, should. You should take a rest. Yes. You take a rest. Okay. Yeah, okay. I see your point, Moises. So in this case, yes, it's like this. Um, you might be stressed. You should take a rest. Okay. Yes? Yes, yes. All right, let me see. 
Or in another case could be you should uh, go to the doctor and, and get a check. Yes, okay, that's true. That's you should. Okay, good. It's advice. Um, hi, Anna. Hi, teacher. Anna, I don't know what to buy my wife for her birthday. I only have $50. She likes she likes perfumes. Perfume. But I don't know what perfume. You shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't do do the. No, you shouldn't um, try to explain the situation for wife. You should have. But I have fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Fifty. Okay. Uh, maybe you should, maybe you might, you might. Uh, okay, Anna, a, wait, Anna, wait, listen. I have $50. Okay. I don't know what to buy my wife. Okay. But she likes perfumes. So. I don't know. <laughs> you, okay. You should. Mm -hmm. um, invite uh, our restaurant for dinner, oh, maybe. Okay, good. Okay, good. Thank you. You're welcome. Good. Help? Arguing uh, something? Yeah, I should invite her to a dinner. That's good. Or you should you should buy a uh, a good perfume or. So, uh... A cheap perfume. But yeah, you should buy a cheap perfume or an imitation perfume. Yeah. Oye, no se saben si son originales o no. La réplica. Yo pensé que algo así me iban a decir. You should buy you should buy a replica of Coco Mama Sal or something. But if your is your wife is the same me, I didn't I don't like the replicas perfume. <laughs> yes, but she she won't know because some replicas are very good. <laughs> some replicas, yes, but it's not all replicas because a long time ago I remember uh, my ex boyfriend uh, gave me a replica for the Tommy girls perfume. Yes. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's not the same. Uh, flower of the the original. And how much how okay. much does it cost? I don't Anna? know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he gave me. <laughs> yeah, maybe like ten dollars. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> All right, very good. You should pay for. <laughs> With $50. Or, or you, know, you can say what we know with $50, you should buy the small perfumes. You can buy a good small perfume, de una cinco onza, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you should buy a Coco Mama Cell, de tres onza, de yes, too. <laughs> Coco Mama, what? <laughs> Coco Mama Cell. <laughs> I, I think. perfume. Yeah, oh, man, that's a sexy perfume. I like that perfume. But it's expensive. Very expensive. Yo, mi esposa se lo compraba cuando éramos novios. Why, teacher? We're married now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now you have more responsibilities and more uh, expense for all things. In your house, maybe. Uh, yeah, it's a bit. <laughs> We're married. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's okay. Let me see. Let me see. Evaristo. Okay. Tell me. This is an example. Okay. Example. 
Evaristo, my wife is always on the phone. And at night, she goes to the bathroom and I listen to her talking. At one in the morning. And I ask her, what are you doing? And she says, nothing. I was listening to my WhatsApp. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> you, should, you should be careful. <laughs> <laughs> you should be careful. You, you should, you should, you should put uh, your eyes on her. I should put a GPS on her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. No, no, but it was an example. But as he is, yeah, you should, you should, you should. Yes. Oh man, I like. Rustic pizza. Moises, I like a rustic pizza. You should go to La Pizzeria. They, they, they make a good pizza. Uh, and it is bacon, bacon on a, a, how do you say, horno de tierra. De tierra. Oh, the adobe. I, I don't know what is the correct uh, word, but they uh, are un, un horno artesanal de eso que se venga. Yes. Handcraft. Handcraft. Yeah. yeah, I think, you know, but actually I think, I think those are called adobe. Porque es adobe. A la larga de terminación. Yeah, yeah. Adobe uh, oven. O, o barro. Será barro. Adobe no. oven. Yes, adobe oven. Okay. Yes, it's very good, true. It's true. Another one that is very good uh, pizza is the uh, one in the Paseo El Carmen. It called the place Mario's Pizza. Mario's Pizza is good? Yes. yes. Sobre El Paseo El Carmen. In San oh. Salvador. Yeah. Hey, that's good to know because I remember one time I was in Paseo del Carmen and okay, next time I go there, I will check it out. The thing is that nowadays Paseo del Carmen looks like the Lula Ula. It's true. Hace 20 años. <laughs> Even in lo mismo, ¿verdad? Sí, lo mismo. The same thing. I tell my wife because my wife likes to look at the handcraft, la artesanía. And I say, why do you stop in every kiosk, in every kiosk? Si todos venden lo mismo. They all sell the same thing. <laughs> but I like, but you know what I like about Paseo del Carmen? I like the food. The, the, because there's a lot. I mean, there's chicken, meat, hamburgers, typical food. Every food is yeah. good. Yes. Okay, class. Um, thank you very much. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you have a great night. See you tomorrow, teacher. You too, teacher. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Take care, Mr.